expansive with Anna Gatman here with another daily meditation from Eileen Caddy's book, Opening Doors Within. And the focus today is going to be, I want you to stop despairing. Don't despair. You have the power to influence your world and you have the power to change our world. And this is what this uh, daily meditation is about. And then I will expand on it and share with you a bit more how you can influence the world that you're in and not feel that you are a victim of this crazy world that we are living in, the crazy, crazy times that we are living in right now. So let me first do the reading. So it, the reading is from August 10th. And for those of you who don't know Eileen Caddy, she's one of the co-founders of the Fintorn Foundation, Fintorn Spiritual Community, Education Center, and Eco Village in Northern Scotland, where I had my first spiritual awakenings. So I am, I come from that lineage. My teachings come from the Findhorn uh, lineage and I read um, the daily reading every day from this book. So I picked for you today, August 10th. And it says, do you want to do something to help the world situation? Then look within for never forget that it all starts in the individual. As you change your consciousness to love, peace, harmony, and unity, the consciousness of the whole world will change. But it is not always very pleasant when you start doing it. You will find dark spots which need to be cleared within, you, within yourself. You will find that your motives are not always of the highest and that your likes and dislikes are far more pronounced than you imagined. You will find that you are very inclined to discriminate when there should be no discrimination, for all are one in my sight. You will find that your love for one another is not all it should be. Start putting all your cards on the table and be determined to do something about it. And start doing it now. There is no better time. I am here to help you. Call upon me and let me guide your every step. So Eileen Caddy heard, actually heard a voice within her that she identified as the voice of God. And so this is God speaking to her, her inner divinity. From her inner divinity, God spoke to her. And so I want to touch upon a few things here. First of all, this, you know, the world has gone mad and we're, we're living in crazy times. And so there's, it's very easy to feel helpless, hopeless and feel despair. But when you go within, you gain access to all the spiritual resources and strength and wisdom that each one of us has, the biggest spiritual teacher, you and me. And with those resources, you have the power to change your day, your moment, your life, your world, and better our world. So this is activism. You can become a force for good. And for example, you could meditate in the morning on the quality of beauty, or on the quality of inner peace. And then you can become a field of inner peace throughout your day when you tap in in meditation to inner peace or you look out at a tree and you see peacefulness in that tree and that becomes your portal to inner peace. Then you become a field for inner peace because you've accessed it. And then throughout your day, you're a field of inner peace wherever you go, whoever you're inter you interact with online or in person, in work, um, you know, in your meetings, in your friendships, your partner, your children, your parents, whoever you're interacting with and whatever choices you make, decisions that you take, you're taking a perspective, spaciousness and inner peace. And that's activism. You become a force for inner peace, a field of inner peace as you walk about your day. So what the, the meditation is talking about is that many times, you know, we we meditate in the morning, we feel inner peace, then we walk around throughout our day angry at everybody who is spoiling our state of inner peace when we were alone meditating. That is not living the change that you want to see in the world. 
You see, your life is your spiritual practice and your spiritual practice is your activism. Subtle activism, some might call it, when we're talking about uh, spreading equality in your day, but it is activism and you have the power to do that. And it is amazing the miracles and wonders that begin happening when you change your world. You are a world within a larger world and every, every cell is a world within a larger world. Systems within systems within systems. And so each world, you being one of them, has the power to change whatever you touch. And the more of us do it, the, the, the greater the impact. And maybe you have a lot of influence and a lot of impact when you change your mood and your attitude. But this is activism. This is spiritual practice. And you have that power. And so remember that when you connect to inner peace, it's not in order to then feel like, oh my God, everybody's going to spoil it for me. And then you spoil it for me. And these types of people spoil it for me. And these types of events spoil it for me. The world has gone mad. How can you be an island of peacefulness in the midst of that and just spread inner peace, sparkle inner peace or any other quality, as I said before, beauty or joy or compassion, kindness to your fellow human beings or to animals or to nature and be that force of change in the world through your activism by being a field of inner peace. And so pay attention how much you're trying the rest of the world to, to stop so that you can keep the, the, the little inner peace that you have versus you generating inner peace and becoming a force for inner peace wherever you walk throughout your day. So that's how you don't have to despair anymore and how you can take full responsibility and see that you can change the world, the entire world, your world, your life, and it spreads to the world. And this is not about doing an inventory of, of you blaming yourself, feeling guilty or shame about not being perfect, not being good. It's about, again, taking full responsibility, owning, oh, this attitude that I had, it was not serving me and it was really hurtful and unkind to other people. And then just shift that. Don't blame yourself. You learn from it. Take responsibility. Shift, change, and become this field of inner peace or any other quality that you want to share in the world. And be the change that you want to see in the world. So there's a lot to practice. It's very simple, not always easy because things distract us and things spoil the connection that we had to inner peace or to beauty or to joy whatever it was and then we begin to hate others for spoiling it for us no put the focus back here how can you strengthen your connection to inner peace for example so that nothing and no one can take it away from you this is a spiritual practice I don't have mastery over it most people don't, but it is a beautiful spiritual practice. That's what we are meant to do. This is the activism that we are meant to be doing. Tapping into spiritual resources and then being those resources as a field wherever we go, whatever we do throughout our day. So practice, leave a comment. I'm Anna Gatman and wherever you're watching this, just leave a comment, share what, um, what uh, was insightful for you, what was challenging for you, what was your experience, how did you change your day and the outcome of your day and the out outcome of the life of the people around you when you got into action, took responsibility instead of feeling despair, became a, a field and a force for good in the world. Blessings. Mm -hmm.